I am Hirota Engineering. I am an ordinary office worker, but I like cars very much, especially engines in cars. Today, I'd like to discuss the engine performance of my Ferrari 308 GTS, which has been built in my private garage with a charge dyna system named DynaPack. In fact, the video is based on that I recorded at the end of last year in Japanese. Because it became extremely popular, I decided to translate it to English without modifying the contents. The purpose of today's activity is to clarify the engine torque and power of my Ferrari 308 GTS. Additionally, I would like to assess whether the current condition of the car is satisfactory or whether further improvements are required. This car was mass produced in 1978 based on Italian specifications and I purchased it in 2003 in Japan. It has remained in a completely normal condition since my purchase. I have owned it for approximately two decades and have not encountered any significant issues thus far. In addition, it was much cheaper at that time I purchased it as compared with its current price. Hence, I was fortunate to have purchased it back then. This car was named after the engine specifications of 3.0 displacement and V8. The compression ratio is 8.8. .8. The valve train system is DOHC. But the number of valves per cylinder is 2. That is one for intake and the other for exhaust. The engine control system for air by the fuel mixture ratio, A by F, is carburetor without any computer devices and hence without any ECU. The ignition timing is controlled by a mechanical distributor. It is an outdated system compared with the current typical engine. According to the manufacturer, the maximum torque is 29 kg FM at 5000 RPM, and the maximum power is 250 horsepower at 7700 RPM. Nevertheless, I am interested in determining the actual torque and power. Please visit my other channel for the method to use a charge down meter and to correct the major torque and power as per my explanation in those videos. The measurement method adheres to the Japanese industrial standards, also known as JIS. If you have not viewed those videos yet, I urge you to do so. Next, I shall prepare for the measurement. To prepare for the measurement, I removed the tires and replaced them with a unit of DynaPack. If you wish to understand the preparation method for the DynaPack, please watch my other video. The measurement should be performed in the steady state with the accelerator pedal fully open 
for each engine revolution speed. It is performed for every 400 RPM from 1200 RPM until the revolution speed at which the maximum power is observed. In addition, the measurement result of torque and A by F should be plotted on a graph sheet for each measurement point. An external A by F meter, which is manufactured by Auto Gauge Japan, is attached to the exhaust system. The main sensor is LSU 4.9, manufactured by Bosch, which is one of the most famous and reliable suppliers in terms of sensors or electrical devices. Therefore, I assume that the precision of the measured value is extremely high. この車のエンジン出力試験を開始します。is the result that I obtained from my measurement area. However, the values must be processed before a final conclusion can be attained. Next, I shall summarize the activity. Here, I am showing the conclusion from today's activity. It is a final measurement result that contributed to the loss of mechanical friction in the drive system and the atmosphere correction. The graph on the right showed the torque in unit of kgfm and the power in unit of horsepower. The maximum torque and power achieved were 26.5 kgfm at 3600 RPM and 208 horsepower at 6800 RPM, respectively. However, those values were less than the official values provided by the manufacturer at that time, which were 29 kg FM at 5000 RPM and 250 horsepower at 7700 RPM. The measurement result only reflected that of my Ferrari 308. In other words, another Ferrari 308 might demonstrate the performance indicated by the manufacturer. The A by F of my car was said to be higher or lower 
than the ideal value. Furthermore, the ignition timing was not clarified in this attempt. The first torque peak was observed at 3600 rpm. But the second torque peak, which was located at approximately 4800 rpm, was lower than the first one. Moreover, the torque that was measured at higher engine revolution reduced significantly, owing to the low suction air by the engine. This should be further improved. My ideal values for the torque and power are 10 kg FM and 100 horsepower per 1 liter of displacement, respectively. By my standards, the 3 liter V8 engine should achieve 30 kg FM of torque and 300 horsepower. My aim is to achieve these values. Nevertheless, in my opinion, my Ferrari remains extremely attractive because it is coated with the most beautiful body finishing and can travel rapidly and smoothly. I have never seen or driven such an amusing car other than my Ferrari. I plan to own it for as long as possible and will provide with an update regarding its improvements in YouTube. Therefore, I hope that you will wait patiently for the next video, as I will be showing you my next activity. See you! Goodbye!